Uh, hey guys, this is Atul from Team K Tonin Academy, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the three questions being asked by Ronak in one of my free classes. So I thought I'll take this opportunity to answer him uh, him the questions, but the question was so good, so I thought I'll re-record it and then we'll share it with you as well. So the first question, this to give you some context of the question. In the free class we, on Terraform, we give it, we gave a demo, explain all the things uh, the Terraform uh, makes of. It was roughly around a 90-minute uh, class where we explained everything and we gave a demo as well. So the question was related to that. So let me read out those questions so you understand the question and I'll go and answer them as well. So it can help not only Ronak but for others as well who might have similar questions. And towards the end, I'm also give you a free class that free class link. Uh, which if you want to go deeper into uh, or want to learn Terraform, which is a cloud automation tool. So the first question was about what protocol are being used by Terraform behind the scenes um, in, or, in, in order to push this defined HCL config, which HCL is HashiCorp language, uh, to either on-premise or cloud. So what protocols they are using? So to answer the question, first of all, uh, the Terraform is using multiple ways depending on how you're using the Terraform uh, instance. So for for example, the more the most common is they use cloud APIs to uh, provision the resources or manage things. Apart from the apart from uh, the cloud provider APIs, they also use SSH and there's a uh, Windows related provisioners. Now, what is a provisioner? We briefly uh, gave an idea about, but below this video, we're watching this on, probably it will go on our blog or on YouTube channel. We are going to add some additional links about these provisioners, what these provisioners are. I'm going to keep it, I want to keep it the video short and crisp and to the point. Um, then also there's something called as Terraform uh, Enterprise, which is a basically cloud-based Terraform uh, engine where you can manage everything from a uh, Terraform cloud and that uses some advanced settings, advanced configurations. And I'm, as I said, for further reading, I'm going to give you this documentation. You can read further. There are also HTTP, HTTPS modules and providers that you use. But the most common one which uh, HashiCorp uses is the uh, the uh, like basically uh, cloud uh, APIs uh, in order provision. So that was question number one. The question number one was that from where do we get resources, values, resource values such as AMI and subnet ID. So to give you the context, uh, we provisioned two EC2 instances in that free class. Um, uh, and on the two EC2 instances, uh, we were uh, extra or we were getting some instance ID or not instance ID, sorry, AMI, which is a uh, which is a AWS machine image. Uh, the ID of that so that they can provision that type of image. And we were also picking up the subnet ID um, in order to provision in which subnet to provision this uh, virtual machine. The, the, the question was, where do we get all these values that we do? And for this, again, there are multiple options and multiple ways. So first of all, you can manually extract that from a, going, by going to the AWS management console, or you can go to the uh, CLI, AWS CLI to extract and say what kind of a um, AMI image you want to use or which subnet, uh, which is already there in your, in, in, in your, um, in your cloud provider, you should be using. Now, the subnets and AMIs will be dependent on the region you are part of or your account, possibly your account. So be careful. You're extracting that by connecting to them. Now, but that's a manual process of connecting them. You can also use this, something called as Terraform data source. Again, we'll refer on this blog a little bit more about data sources if you want to read more about data sources. Uh, so. Uh, you can extract and you can use a, a data sources to extract that uh, values programmatically as well. And uh, you can, again, uh, there are APIs, um, there are uh, cloud provider APIs as well, but I think these are the most common, which I've explained to you. That's another one. Again, as I said, I'm going to keep it high level, short, crisp, under 10 minute answers. And if you want to read further, there'll be a related link on the below the video where you're watching, the, there, there should be a description section. Also then finally, uh, can we destroy a specific resource block only out of the two EC2 two node created. Again, to give you context, we uh, created two EC2 instances from a Terraform using Terraform to give a demo. Um, now, the question was, can we destroy, for example, just a part of that resource that we created? For example, just one EC2 instance or maybe as a part of that uh, provisioning you were creating, for example, subnets, you're creating EC2s, you're creating uh, storage, other things you can, can you partially delete? And again, answer is yes, you can partially delete it. Again, there are multiple ways to 
destroy specific uh, option. So first of all, you can use Terraform destroy command. There are a lot of commands like Terraform plan, Terraform uh, create, uh, or, or provisioning instances, or provisioning resources, and destroy is to delete as we covered in the demo as well. So yes, you can use Terraform destroy, but you use an option with that or parameter, for example, what target you want to destroy, you can specify that as well. You can also, other option is you can put it into the configuration file, uh, where in configuration file, it removes only that particular um, block and remove that from the configuration file, it will remove uh, that particular block or that particular component as well. There are more advanced things, which is like use count. Again, this is more programmatically more advanced feature uh, on to doing that as well. So there are cup, there are subtle, there are multiple options or multiple ways to do. But to answer your question, that's yes, that's possible. Now that was answer for Ronak. And if you're watching this Ronak, let us know if that makes sense. Inside the program that we mentioned, we go deeper into each, each of these things. And if you're wondering what this free class I'm talking about, if you're if you if you're not Ronak, if it's someone else who are watching this and won't more interested in knowing about more about Terraform, an entire free class that we do on Terraform. Um, leave a comment on and let me show it to you. And by going to the screen, what all things uh, we cover on that free class. And if you're interested, leave a comment um, called Terraform. And when, when we see my automation tool will come and uh, we'll connect to you and give you that free class link. So type the word Terraform. So just to give you some context, this class is about how to master the Terraform and DevOps in order to build the necessary skills in order to get a high paying job. We'll cover things like what is DevOps overview and how Terraform plays a important role now in your DevOps cycle. We'll also look at what is Terraform if you're a complete beginner, but and why you must be learning it. But then we are going to look at the common use cases where, in which Terraform can be used. Now, this is the important thing which is, we'll be talking about is we'll talk about Terraform workflow, the concepts, and this is where I was talking about these providers, resource, modules, config, state file that might be. We're also giving you going to give you a step-by-step -step eight week roadmap to learn, go from a complete beginner to uh, mastering this Terraform, as well as the hands-on lab that you should be performing. We are also going to do give a demo that you can use to see and create your provision, your first cloud resource, be it AWS or on Azure, on, in order to do that. So if you're interested, just leave a word, at, uh, word called Terraform so that we can um, invite you for this uh, free class. With that, this is Atul. Do let me know if you have any other question like this or you want me to cover any other question um, related to the cloud or DevOps or Terraform or automation. And I'll, otherwise, I'll see you in next video. Thank you.